What's going on guys? My name is Renegade. Today we're here to talk about Void Paladin. It's a new set announced by Alina today coming out this weekend, not on Friday, this weekend. She specifically said weekend. So this set was designed by Bido. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I apologize. Uh, it's it's spelled B-I-D-O. So it's a, it's a name that I cannot pronounce first try. However, uh, please correct me in the comments. I no doubt people have already typed their comments out correcting me. Either way, um, they designed the set and it looks pretty good. It's a Paladin set uh, with some recolors and some little adjustments to make it look more themed to the Nogath Nation. Um, it's it's a good looking set, I, I suppose. Uh, either way, we have some, some details about what items are included in the set and how to get them. So we'll start off with the list of items. So we got a list from Alina, including the Void Paladin armor, Void Paladin's helmet, Void Paladin's horns, Void Katana and dual Void Katanas, Void Katana cape, Void Paladin's cape, Void Light of Destiny, and the Ascended Void Light of Destiny. Now, just a side note about the Ascended Void Light of Destiny, it will probably look identical to the Void Light of Destiny. However, I do recommend that you don't turn in your Blinding Light of Destinies to get the Void Light of Destiny, because... If you have the Blighting Light of Destiny, you then can farm for the original Drakath armor, which requires you to turn that in. But if you do turn in your Blighting Light of Destiny using that method, then you can go to uh, the Corrupted uh, Time Travel Fairies quests once you have the original Drakath armor, and then farm a little bit, not, not too much farming, it'll be quite easy, for the Ascended Light of Destiny. So it's pretty much a free item that you get once you've already got Drakath armor. Whereas if you turn in the Ascended Light, uh, the Blind Light of Destiny just to get the Void Light of Destiny, then I highly doubt you'll be able to, you'll be given a quest to get the Ascended Void Light of Destiny. Um, sorry, the Ascended Light of Destiny. And so then you'll never be able to use the Blind Light of Destiny ever again without farming it again. Basically what I'm trying to say here is Turn in the Blinding Light of Destiny here, you lose it forever. Turn it in to get the Drakath armor and you'll have infinite Blinding Light of Destinies, pretty much. Okay, now we got that out of the way. We do have some details regarding the farming process and how they will be farmed. These will not be available for ACs. That's a guess, but it's an educated guess and I'll tell you why in a sec. Um, however, Aline did mention that if you want to create the Void Light of Destiny, be prepared to give up your Blinding Light of Destiny. We expect only the most loyal and dedicated nation members to craft this. Okay, what does that mean? Well, it means that you have to go above and beyond the mentioned requirements that I'll talk about in just in a sec um, to get the item. So pretty much the quest to get the Void Light of Destiny will be harder than all the rest of the quests. So they basically talked about, a little bit later, they talked about the requirements. So they said there'll be three different quests, one to get the Void Paladin armor, one to get the Void Light of Destiny, and one will be for the other accessory. So you get one accessory each time you turn in that quest. Those quests will be at or near the level of the Juggernaut items of Nogath, demanding items of Nogath, or the tokens of Nogath, which is to say they're pretty easy for those who are loyal, but they will be difficult for those who are not. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a it's it's an interesting concept. It'll be around the Juggernaut items of Nogath difficulty. Back in the day, back in uh, good old 2010 and 11, when I was when I was playing back then, Juggernaut items of Nogath was considered one of the hardest quests in the game. However, now looking at it, looking at the requirements now. Um, for starters, the level requirement is 30, so that is a testament to how long ago this quest was considered difficult. Um, it doesn't really have anything that hard. You know, you need 13 diamonds, and checking my inventory quickly tells me I have 300. Um, you need 50 Dark Crystal Shards, I have 250 of those. Basically, the requirements for Juggernaut items in Orgath is pretty easy in today's standards compared to items such as the Enchanted Orgath Nation House and Void High Lord. Yeah, it's, it's fairly easy, although if you not farm Nogas stuff before, you'll probably find it quite difficult. Either way, that's the, that's the requirements for the armor and the accessories, I presume. But for the Void Light of Destiny, they assured everyone that we expect only the most loyal and dedicated nation members to craft this. So even uh, nation members will find this difficult, and only the most loyal will be able to craft this. And that implies that there's some sort of prerequisite that they're not telling us, or that it'll just be more difficult than the rest of the stuff. My my bet's on the latter. It's just going to be a bit more difficult than the rest of the stuff. And now, Adam, as I mentioned before, I said that this wouldn't be available for ACs, any of the stuff, and that's a hunch based on the fact that you need the Blinding Light Destiny. Now, that's a pretty damn difficult prerequisite to have. Luckily, I already have the Blinding Light Destiny, so I can give you guys a 
tour of what the items look like in game if you got if you guys want that um but <laughs> they uh they, re you, they require you to have that, so it'd be kind of a bit cheap for them to just say, yeah, you can buy this item for ACs. So, unless this, uh, this set is rare, and they want people to, you know, spend their ACs to try and desperately get this, it's uh, it's probably not going to be available for ACs at all. Which is fine, I don't think that's a problem. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be it for, our video, for the video, guys. I just talked about the uh, Void Paladin set, hopefully you guys got the information you need. I'll leave a link to the design it's post in the description. Um, but now I'll talk a little bit about some videos coming up in the next few days. So you can click on the video now if you're only here for the news, but if you want to listen to me talking about videos coming out in the next few days, then by all means stay. Now, today I finally, finally completed the Void High Lord quest uh, for the 15th time. So I, ha I had my 15 Ruin Geniums, I had Void Crystal A and B, and I went to, went to the NPC and I bought my class. So I have Void High Lord, and it's ranked 10. So I am prepared to do videos on this class. Now... I really like the class. I am uh, very impressed with it. Um, and so I will be doing a class guide and a review. So I'll be doing a How Good Is Void High Lord video, which will be the guide. And then I'll do a separate review video where I'll talk about how valuable it is to different, to varying players. I'll talk about um, what value the concept of this class holds in the sea of classes in the game. I mean, this is my 103rd class, so I am... I am, I guess, qualified to talk about whether this class holds any value in the grand scheme of things. Um, and so, yeah, I'll, I'll just talk about generally whether this class is worth it or not for the uh, for the review. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, leave a like. Again, subscribe to be notified when any of my future videos go live. I'll have the Void High Lord class guide out first, and then a couple of days later I'll have the review. And in between all that, I might have a class comparison comparing Void High Lord to various... Uh, various powerful Solomon classes in the game because Void Highlight is a Solomon class. I'll be comparing it to other Solomon classes in the coming weeks. So expect a uh, class comparison in the next few days. And then next week, I'll do another class comparison with Void Highlight and then I'll do another one and another one and another one until I've crowned Void Highlight as the winner of this, uh, I guess, round robin of class comparisons. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.